Hey everybody, the Bong is here, and welcome back to the Sanctum! Today is June 26, 2019, and for anybody that was here during the pre-stream of this game, I did spin the wheel again to reveal another future Let's Play. And that project is going to be Fallout 3 for the Sony PlayStation 3. So everybody, I hope you all get excited for that, because I am not looking forward to constantly dying because my aiming is shit. But anyway, that's neither here nor there. I was supposed to go to Zemeth Island, so what I decided to do was head all the way through the end of the Ruins of Amnesia off screen to save you all, like, probably several minutes. Also, I forgot to uh, pause the stream on my end, because I like to do that and not get distracted. Now, I should be going forward. Look, back to where I fought a boss here. But I'm actually going to go back. And the only reason I'm doing that is because there are new platforms here. That you can only see if you have the rainbow fragment on. I'm trying to remember where it is I gotta go to uh, find the platforms. I think it was on the left side. Yeah, maybe it's down here. Yeah, you see these platforms right here? You couldn't see them before normally. Oh, when I get this guy killed before I try to jump on the platforms. Because I'm worried he'll just knock me off. Okay, what is this? I think it wants me to take off the rainbow fragment while I'm in midair. Is that possible? Um, it looks like it is. But apparently, I have to deal with a delay when that happens. So if that happens, I end up falling over here. This room I don't really remember all that well. Although it might end up being the same place. That I tend to reach when I fall. Yeah, it looks like it is. This path is a little optional, by the way. I think I have to go... This way, maybe? No hopping across... This platform is a bad idea. Jeez, I keep thinking I'm gonna fall right off. Especially when these lasers hit. The ones that actually charge up a laser. Because it actually does knock you back pretty far. And on the plus side, in this part, I'm only taking maybe one damage per hit. Oh, I'm not at the uh, other platforms yet. There they are. May not even be worth my while to try that. So I think I'm just gonna go back to the save point. Save us the time and the trouble. Another thing I should mention is that in between streams of this game, my weapons are stronger. Like, for instance, my Livart is level 9, Lirant is level 10, and the Aerosil is still at level 8. I have heard that level 11 is max level for the weapons, but you need a hundred thousand ammo to get to max level for a sword. So that's going to take a long time. A very, 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 
very long time. I'm talking about playing through this game overnight and grinding ammo until I can't take it anymore. There's also the Trials of Alma, but I think I'm not at the point where I want to try Trial 2 again. Because I got body last time I did. Alright, let's see what's waiting for me in Zemeth Island. I did see a horrible vision over there. Okay, let's do this. People in the chat, or at least one person in the chat, was talking about uh, more bloodstained and something I gotta look forward to later on. And thank god it didn't reveal what exactly that thing is. So I like to go in there completely unprepared to make it more exciting. Oh, hey, James. And when I actually uh, polled people who wanted to see either Bloodstream, Bloodstained, or East on Monday, 89% said Bloodstained. So I can tell that game was definitely getting the better following. Not to say that people are not liking uh, E6 at all, but, you know, Bloodstained is new, so I'll give it that. Jeez, what happened here? I am the blue King. King oh, the swords are actually named after these fairies. Even evil fairies are inclusive. So does this mean the black, the great vortex is gone? Oh great, the Roman fleet. Because we took out the Vortex, they're able to get here now. Damn, what the hell? <laughs> Bastard sprites? Those protective talismans were a stroke of genius, but in the end, they were not enough. Now, the seal of the Great Vortex has been undone. <laughs> we welcome you to this new world. Now, everyone, we bid you a fond farewell. J just a second. Damn it. All for nothing. Red-haired bastard? What the hell were you just watching for? And you tore off the talismans I spent all that time putting up! What? No, I didn't. Do not blame at all. Like you, he arrived here just now. If you seek someone to blame, look over there. They are the thoughtless ones who did it. Uh, what happened? 
Second them brats started shining, I couldn't move no more. Oh, I thought for sure I was done for. Damn it! I went through all this trouble and I still haven't found the final seal? Guess, was it? <laughs> I assume those wicked beings were homunculi. Little ones with special powers. Guess you know all about them. Apparently, they have the same powers as the three Emilus swords. The thing is, they're just the beginning. The beginning? Now that they've shown up, things don't look good for Kanan. Better brace yourselves. So numb, I, I can't move. Forgive me, but you must return to town without me. That shaking earlier, I have a bad feeling about this. Okay. Anything over here? No. Better check on the others. I can't believe we was taken down by them little brats. Damn, I'm a failure as a bodyguard. Ah, but at least you're a good floor mat. <laughs> yes, I know. The seal of the Great Vortex has been broken. If that's the case, I'm one step closer toward making my dreams come true. Uh, damn it! Isn't this numbness going to go away yet? He's not going to learn his lesson, isn't he? Oh boy. This is why I was hesitant about accompanying them on this journey. Pickups, I'm not a fairy tale, all right? Well, I guess I'll have to go to town to find out. Oh, I guess I can't use the wings while I'm in this room. All right, let me go back to the ruins. Maybe I can use them here. Oh, this place is still not technically a dungeon. So it's not gonna work. All right, let me try it in the first room of the ruins. Actually, before I do that, why don't I try to hop across those platforms again? I bet I can nail it this time. Who knows, it might be something really worth getting because it's such a tricky jump. I do like this game, don't get me wrong. Probably the one knock against it. Platforming is not ideal for this type of game. It's not. It's more of like a hack and slash, explore the world kind of thing. And even the exploring part can be a bit of a stretch. Parts where you have to like do precise jumping doesn't flow well with this game at all. Again, I'm really liking the fact that even one of my swords is level 10. It's gonna make my life a lot easier until it's the very sword that I'm not supposed to be using. Or if I run into enemies that are still invincible no matter what. One of which is actually in this dungeon. Alright, if I fail, I can always just use the wings then. Having the MLS hammer makes grinding a lot easier for Emil. 
because you do get a little increase for each crystal. Alright, I'm supposed to take this off. And I have to jump at the right time. What? Are they just invisible? Oh, I think there were the platforms were always there. You just can't see them. Am I supposed to make like a curving jump? I likely wouldn't mind the jumping part if it wasn't maybe two or three minutes just to get back. That added time just makes it a hassle. If we ever get to like, depending on where we're at in this game, I might only play this for an hour and I could probably play some more Bloodstain in an hour. Does everybody feel good about that? Or would they prefer to have a two-hour session of this game? Like, what would be more appealing to you guys? Because I'm good either way. Well, hopefully, uh, they're not going bad in town. The music has changed, which means that things are going really bad in town. This town is now occupied by the army of the Roman Empire. Make sure you don't cause any trouble. Wow, you sound sterile as hell. Yeah, it looks like the Roman Empire have already occupied this town. According to rumors, we heard that there's some secret treasure hidden at the center of the vortex. <laughs> Knowing Admiral Agares, I'm sure that's what he's after. Ah, uh, ain't no denying it. Those soldiers really are Roman. It's the glorious and ever victorious fleet crossing the Great Vortex. Well then, I wonder what can do about these soldiers. Hey, the Pickards are gone! What the hell? I heard the main force has departed for the neighboring island with Commander Ernst. He left with some serious equipment, but I wonder what they plan to do with it. What, they went to Quartero? Oh, that can't be good. I couldn't believe that the Great Vortex stopped. Just as the commander had predicted. Who the hell is he anyway? I don't know, but I'm getting on board. Huh? Who the hell are you? This warship belongs to the Ramon Imperial Fleet under the command of Admiral Lagares. If you don't want to get hurt, you better hurry up and leave. Oh yeah, if you see a subhuman with a tail, let us know right away. Supposedly, Admiral Agares has planned to present them to the Emperor as a gift. Notice says you get ten silver pieces if you hand one over. Subhuman with, sub with a tail. Let us know right away. Supposedly, Admiral Ag Notice says you get... It's probably like, uh, the Retta, isn't it? Yeah, I wonder if one is even in the village. Or should I go straight to Quatera? Hey, you there, swordsman. If you've got no business here, go back to town. The commander's the real brains in charge of this fleet. Rumor has it that he takes care of most of the operations and tactics missions by himself. Hmm, let me go to Raba's cabin. So I know one of the sisters used to spend some time even there. Even back in her own country, our fleet was unwelcome, but 
Ever since we got Commander Ernst, seems we've got the Emperor's trust. Ah, Ur lives here too. Oh, he's not here anymore. He just cleared out. Okay, I guess I gotta go somewhere else. This building seems rather strange. You're rather strange. Some of the soldiers seem to be looking for the Retta. They actually captured me earlier. But when they found I had no tail, they disappointedly let me go. I don't really understand what it was about, but I was rather insulted. Ah, uh, it's for the best. Definitely don't want to get in their uh, grip. Yeah, to get this to like its max level, it's 100,000 ammo. And I'm not even close to that. But its magic attack is already at max. You, redhead, would you please try not to walk outside so much? I'm sorry, but these are our orders. Wow, how dare I get some exercise? That's how I keep my hair a nice color. One fleet suddenly came advancing upon our harbor. I extracted a promise from them to keep their hands off the town. However, what might their objective be? Hmm, I don't know what it is, but it looks like I'm gonna have to go to Quatera Island now. Alas, I was having such fun playing with the Pickards. A scary soldier informed me to stay inside, though. You know, come to think of it, did I forget to close the gate to the Pickard Corral? Yes, you did. I bet you'll have to look for them in a probably a side quest. Suppose everyone else is drinking the night away. Uh oh, these guys seem like bad news. I wonder if Ur is okay. Boy. First pirates show up, and now the Ramon army. And I hear the Great Vortex has vanished to boot. So, does that mean there's the possibility of finally leaving? Uh, not with them occupying the place or not. <laughs> Alright, I guess I'm going to Quatera now. I'm going to change one of my accessories. Oh no, it's already changed what I wanted to. Perfect. Okay, let's see if I'm actually taking the right path and going to Quatera now. Because the game doesn't really always tell you like where you need to go. Woo. Can't wait to finish this mission and get back home. Oh, you one of the humans from the nearby town? This island's too dangerous for travelers at the moment. You must return to your home. Hmm, something tells me I do have to go this way. The main force has been deployed to this island. If you don't want to run into trouble, you should remain quietly in town. As long as Commander Ernst is in command, the mission is sure to be a success. Oh, I don't know how much more dangerous this island is. It's probably got the same enemies. Yeah, it is exactly the same enemies. It hasn't even changed at all. There's not even more of them. It's the same quantity. I was expecting better. Well, looks like I'm going to the village now. Because they're saying that the main force went to this island. 
So they would have to pass through this village to find quote unquote subhumans with tails. So I better warn everyone that hey, uh, soldiers are coming your way. And it looks like I'm too late. God, even the humans not here anymore. Either that or they had one hell of a festival. Oh, it's you. Oh, Jesus. Oh, he got beat up bad. Look at his head, it split open. I don't look much of a warrior right now. After the Great Vortex vanished, many ships appeared in the distance. And then, dozens of ruthless Aresians bearing steel invaded our village. I put Kuval in charge of half of us, and they managed to escape. But the rest of us fell into the hands of the Eresians, including my dear Olha and Isha. Adol lends his shoulder to Chief Ord and takes him to his room. I kind of prefer to have one of my shoulders attached, thank you. The one who defeated me was their leader. A wicked man with long hair. He had a sword of black emulus, darker than his raven black hair. It is an enormous sword with terrible power, enough to shatter our emul spears to pieces. Could that sword be? Chief Ord falls unconscious as if he has run out of strength. So, the worst has happened. Raba? It here. seems the Roman fleet invaded right after the Great Vortex disappeared. I was finally able to move again, so I, I checked out the town. Unfortunately, it was already occupied by Roman soldiers, and Ur and the other Redder had been captured. But to think someone could do that to Master Lord... This... this is terrible. His injuries are so severe, it's... it's amazing he's still alive. It's probably thanks to the Redder's incredible resilience and the treatment you gave him. At all, I will tend to his injuries. You must proceed to town. It seems Earl was taken to the naval ship moored at the town pier. I presume the people taken from this village will also be there. You alone are the only one who can rescue them. Oh, now I have to go back to the town. Oh, there's a lot of back and forth going on. Is there anything I can get here? Oh, nobody's there, of course. Well, I guess I'm heading back to town. So I only came this way for literally dialogue and advancing the plot. Oh, another trial is available to me. Eh, I'll probably wait till later. Cause I know I had my ass bodied 
last time I did that, but that was like maybe 10 or 12 character levels ago. And hey, uh, MK11 fan, I'm doing really well. How about you? Just getting back into this game for like the first time in five days. Plus, I needed some more footage for the uh, the VODs I'm putting up on YouTube. So I think after this week, I'm gonna be all out. Like after Friday's uh, upload at least, I gotta get another one up there. That's from the stream that I'm doing tonight. <laughs> I don't know why I can't just fight these soldiers now to, like, thin their numbers. They kind of deserve it. But no, apparently I'm a good guy. That's how it works. Their hands are not innocent. Most of them did not try to arrest me for, like, moving around all over the place. But they don't see me as a threat. But they probably will once I get in there and try to save the rest of the Reddens. But how the hell am I going to get on the ship? Ew! It's... it's terrible! When I came back to town, the door to the fence had been left open. Oh, where in the world have all the Beckards gone? Well, I got no time to look for them now. 